Hey everyone, it's JJB here, welcoming you back to some more VGC18 Wi-Fi battles. Um, still using the same Mega Charizard X team that I've been using uh, so far this week. Um, if you guys saw the last upload, you'll have seen us get absolutely wrecked. I think we lost both battles that round, uh, which has brought us to a win-loss record of 2-2. Uh, team is on the screen on the left there. Um, team Full team breakdown is also in the description of the video, so have a scroll down, have a read of that, and you'll know what we've got. Um, but yeah, we see our opponent is coming at us with a Zapdos, Incineroar, Morwile, Nihilego, uh, Milotic, and Weavile. So we're seeing two Intimidators right away. We're seeing the Nihilego, which is probably going to want to go for Trick Rooms to support the Incineroar and the Morwile. Um, so I like Milotic. Milotic's good as a lead here. Uh, two Intimidators means there's a you know third chance of him leading with one. Um, or one in three chance from leading with one. So I think we'll go with that and go with... Possibly Tito. What does Tito get wrecked by? Half of his team? Yeah, let's go Tito. <laughs> if I get another double loss here, I'm going to be so annoyed. Um, we sort of want Among Us for the Trick Room. I feel like we need to bring that. And I'm going to bring Charizard as well. Uh, what's our option for the opposing Milotic? Not not a lot. Uh, I'm feeling like the team could really do with the Tapu Koko. Uh, the Fairy help, would help with the Como matchup, which we faced twice in the uh, last battle. and Or the last upload. Yeah, if you guys didn't see that, make sure to go and check that out. Uh, although, you know, spoilers, I do lose both games. So um, maybe don't go and watch it. It will save me some embarrassment. We see two yellow shinies to kick off. So we get the sand up, which is good for us. It'll break the Weavile's, um, you know, focus sash. We do set the sand up for the Nihilego, though, so that's going to have increased bulk, which is going to be annoying to deal with. Um, so I think what we'll do is go for a Scald on the Weavile, and I think I'm just going to go for a Rock Slide here. Uh, I think we're going to see a Fake Out and a Trick Room. The Nihilego actually withdraws into the Zapdos, okay. Uh, this is good for us. Another Yellow Shiny. What's this guy's team? Is everything is everything yellow? Okay, no Fake Out. We see just a huge knockoff. Uh, we Unfortunately, this does mean that the Weavile should die this turn as long as we connect to both Rock Slides, which we do. Uh, that's so much damage to the Zapdos as well. So it's a fully offensive Zapdos. Raise its attack. Special attack, weakness policy. All right, I was seeing a barrier there for some reason. Okay, so the Zapdos is going to maybe have to be forced to go for a Roost on this turn if it wants to hang around. Yeah, if it's got weakness policy, I assume it's going to be fairly bulky. Not not bulky. Uh, fairly aggressive. Uh, and if he has Roost, that would make sense, because it would help him, uh, you know, keep the, the one with the weakness policy boost around. Goes back out into the Nihilego. Um, I think... Bringing in Among Us for the Milotic might make some sense here. Uh, nothing that either of these other guys want, are going to do will get the KO on that. Uh, and let's just keep the Milotic around for the future. Uh, do we need to though? Uh, maybe, might come in useful, let's do that. And Rock Slide. If the Among Us hangs around as well, we've got uh, Redirection, which will come in very handy as well. You see a Power Gem, it's going to go out into Tito. it's going to do nothing. It's a bit more than I thought it would actually. And we see a Thunderbolt into the Tito as well, so that's not going to KO. Does get a Paralysis there, for we get paralysed here, that's going to really suck. We don't, and we connect both Rock Slides. Uh, so that does KO the Zapdos, it nearly KOs the Nihilego. Uh, puts us into a bit of a dodgy spot now in that the T-Tar, we can't really rely on now to get damage off. Uh, 
you know, we could redirect with the Mungus, but then if the T-Tar gets paralysed, uh, you know, that, that's no good for us. Uh, and we see another Milotic from our opponents. So I think what I'm going to do is just spore the Milotic. And I think we've kind of got to let T-Tar go down here. Uh, the Milotic's going to be a big problems for the rest of my team. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll go with that. I think we'll go with Spore on the Milotic. And here Lego's got Psychic. I didn't know I got that. Oh, I'm going to beat it. And it's Life Orb in Hilego, which I didn't realise it had before. It did reveal that, didn't it? Yeah, it went for Power Gem and stuff. I should have, I should have noticed that. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we do get the Spore off now on the Milotic. Uh, so this is good. So basically the plan now is to bring in uh, my Milotic and go for a Recover. Uh, I think we go for a Rage Powder and Recover. Uh, Nihilego will die to its next attack, uh, which is going to have to target down the Among Us. So if we go Rage Powder here, what it means is that the Nihilego has to attack Among Us, which means we can heal up on Milotic. Um, then we can bring in Charizard and start setting up on the sleeping Milotic, and if Milotic wakes up, we can go for Toxic and then stall out with Roost on Charizard and recover on Milotic. Okay, we have a plan. If the Milotic wakes up here, that's bad for us, but it did attack on the last turn and went to sleep, so it's not had any sleep turns yet. So I think we've got a winning plan. So Slide Form has to target Among Us. Uh, just get the KO, uh, and the Nihilego will now die to its Life Orb. Please? Okay, good. <laughs> the Beast Beast went off then, and I thought, have I ever just made up the Life Orb? Okay, and we get a nice recover off now. Uh, so in this 2v1, I think we can come out on top. Uh, we can boost up with Charizard on this next turn because we should outspeed the Sleeping Milotic. And we can go for a Scald. And then on the following turns, we just basically need to just recover Stool, get Toxic off. Um, so that's the plan. If we Mega into a Dragon type as well, the Milotic can't do any uh, super effective damage anymore. Uh, Scald will be neutral, Ice type moves will be neutral. This is a case where, um, you know, being being Charizard Wire would be great because we could just Solar Beam it. Uh, but also, just having Flare Blitz as our only attacking move isn't the best here because, you know, the Water type completely walls. Um, it stays asleep as well, so we're going to get a chance to go for another boost on the next turn, or we could just straight up go for an attack. Uh, sand disappears. I think we'll go for another boost. Um, and our Molotic undersped there, so I'm going to go for the Toxic on this turn. Uh, just to cover the Molotic waking up. School didn't do enough damage as to where I think it'll be uh, worth going for again. Okay, so it stays asleep. So basically at this point now we can just uh, start Flare Blitzing with Charizard. Uh, we got very lucky on the number of sleep turns, but I think we had a winning plan anyway. Uh, of course it's not over yet. He could uh, could wake up and survive somehow. So I think we're just going to go for the Toxic to cover that uh, possibility. So Flare Blitz goes off. It is enough to pick up the KO. Nice. So... Like I said, we've got luck with the number of sleep turns, but I think I had a plan that was going to uh, eventually work. We could roost and recover stool with the Milotic once we've got the Toxic off. Um, or just keep boosting with Dragon Dance, then smack it with a Flare Blitz, because we saw there it just KO'd. So, um, yeah, feeling good about that. Uh, compared to the last upload, that was a very well thought out and commanding win. Uh, dealt with some of his big threats quite nicely. Uh, process on the T-Tile was unfortunate, but it didn't really matter in the end. Um, so yeah, let's do one more battle. Uh, we're only at like 10 minutes, so we might get a couple more in. Who knows? Um, I hope you guys have been enjo enjoying the singles tournament uh, that I've been doing on Pokemon Showdown. That's the limited base stats tournament. If you guys haven't 
caught up with any of that, make sure to go and check that out. Uh, I think by the time this video goes live, I think there'll be a team builder and three battles uh, that will have gone up for you guys to watch. Um, it's a really interesting tournament. Um, basically, you can use any Mon as long as every single one of its base stats is below 100. So it's led to some really innovative Mons and in innovative sets being used. So it's kind of cool. Uh, it's quite good fun. Uh, I won't spoil how we've been getting on. Um, but I think we're coming to the end of the Swiss rounds. So yeah, check it out and see if we make the playoffs or not. Uh, playoffs should be starting sometime next week, I think. Maybe even this weekend. Uh, yeah, should be this weekend. Uh, but the videos for those will be going up next week anyway, because um, they're going to be going up on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, so sweet, so uh, our win-loss ratio is up to 3-2 now, which is handy. Um, I mean, it's better than 2-2. <laughs> So yeah, and it's taken quite a long time to find an opposing trainer. It seems to take a fair bit of time nowadays to, to find one, I guess, because we're coming to the end of VGC 18. Uh, yeah, an opposing trainer could not be found. Uh, let's try again. Uh, I think at the time of recording this, uh, which is at the beginning of this week, this is going to go up on Friday, I'm recording this on Monday. Um, I think Worlds is starting very soon. I think it's next week or the week after next. I can't remember. Um, basically, the plan is that I want to start competing at events um, in VGC 19. So obviously, we've got to we've got to improve a bit. Um, but yeah, the the ultimate plan would be to start going to some competition events. So um, yeah, just got to keep ourselves in the VGC mindset for the back end of VGC 18, even though it's a bit sort of dying out a little bit. Um, and yeah, be, be fresh and ready for VGC 19. So yeah, hopefully we can find an opponent fairly quickly. Um, I would say that I'll just cut when we do, but I realised when I uploaded uh, Monday's upload that I also said that and then didn't bother. So there's just like five or, you know, five to ten seconds of me just sort of sat here, <laughs> just not talking. Um, which is no good, and I will probably forget if I say I'm going to do it now. Unless this goes on for like another... Okay, good. Alright, I was going to say unless it goes on for like another five minutes, but... Now we do get ourselves an opponent. Uh, rocking out with Ludicolo, Pelipa... Pelipa? I don't know why I said it like that. Pelipa. Uh, what is presumably a Mega Sceptile. A Coco, Scrafty, and Landorus. So... Uh... My Lotic's nice, two Intimidators, but he has got the Coco and the Sceptile, which kind of puts me off a little bit. Yeah, it does put me off. Definitely does put me off. Uh, I like Naganadel as uh, the poison type coverage is good against three of his Mons. Uh, the Ludicolo, Sceptile and Tabu Coco. And the Tailwind optionality is also really good for us. He has got two Fake Out users though. So we're probably going to need to go for a Protect on the first turn if you lead to either of them. Uh, of course we could also go Amoongus. Uh, nothing on this team really likes to deal with the Amoongus other than the Pelipper. Uh, so I think we'll go with Amoongus. I think we'll bring Tita on the back just to maintain some form of weather control. Um, Sceptile is going to be very tricky to deal with. Gonna be a problem for us. I think I'm gonna have to go with the Landorus. Yeah, running out of time, we're gonna go that. Uh, my Lotic would have been quite nice, uh, but the Sceptile, Ludicolo, and the Coco kind of put me off. Uh, he's got the double intimidate, so you know it's competitive, might get set off, but I don't think it's worth the risk of uh, all of those. And he just leads straight up with the Coco Sceptile. Uh, which is actually really good for us. Um, we can go for redirection with the Among Us and a Tailwind on this turn. Uh, basically that will guarantee that Nagonadel outspeeds 
uh, all of these guys, and I'm a bit worried about one of them protecting and me calling it wrong. Susceptile Megas, which is fine. Oh, I've just realised we're going to see Discharge, aren't we? It's going to be, ah, oh, it's going to be Discharge and Lightning Rod. <laughs> oh no. Well, the good news is that the uh, Sceptile has to target the Amoongus. Please don't get paralysed on the gun as well. Okay, good. Oh, it's a grass type. Oh, I did that in the last game as well. I think I did that on Monday. Oh, it's the blooming grass type. Oh, damn it. I did... Oh. That is incredibly frustrating. So frustrating. All right, well, we're going to go for a fat rock slide and a fat Giga Drain onto Coco. I think we, I think we're just lost. Discharge is going to boost the Sceptile. Uh, it's going to do no damage to either of our guys. It's paralysis. Sceptile is going to go for like Leaf Storm. Just another Dragon Pulse into the Amoongus. Okay. Rock Slide isn't going to KO though. Surely not. Nah, of course it doesn't. Gets a crit on the Coco. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, so now we just go into out into Lando. Uh, I'm playing on Tilt because uh, forgetting that we needed to protect. But even if we protected, Among Us couldn't have done anything. I'm talking about protecting first time with the Garnadel. If we'd have done that, what would have happened? Uh, nothing. Because Amoongus couldn't do anything to the Sceptile. Uh, we just have to go Rock Slide and... Rock Slide, I think. Let's see another Discharge. Yeah, that's... And then Energy Ball into the Lando. Okay, so Rock Slide here will KO both of these guys. If it... Of course it misses. <laughs> okay. Sceptile goes down. Oh, that's so... That first turn, man, that is abysmal. Uh, what would have been the play, though? I don't think I had any answer to that. And in comes Pelipper, so we're going to see a uh, Brine or Scald or something, and we've not got any way of getting around this now. Uh, I'm just going to Dragon Dance on the... Uh, no, Wall Rock Slide. No, we can't win. He has to control the Coco, so it's, it's locked into the Discharge. Uh, and we just see a Scald. That will KO. Okay, so annoying. So annoying. The Rage Powder plan was the right plan. Um, you know, if uh, it worked on Blooming Grass types, which it doesn't, and I did know that. Uh, I think on Monday's episode I try and Rage Powder a Kartana as well. Um, that's really frustrating, that. <laughs> that's so frustrating. Um, Alright, well I'm going to call it there for today. Uh, that's a really bad showing. The first game we played really well, I feel like that went really well, we are in a commanding position, had game plans for like all the turns, knew what was going on. Uh, and then that second game just got absolutely wrecked by Mega Sceptile. Um, so yeah, the things I forgot was the Lightning Rod, uh, if we'd have thought about that, then possibly leading with well, anything other than Among Us, I think, would have been fine. If we'd have led Landorus, Charizard, uh, Tyranitar, they'd have all been fine, because they'd have all survived a Discharge, and all could have, you know, a Crunch from T-Tile would probably KO the Sceptile, uh, Flare Blitz from Charizard would have KO'd the Sceptile, um, 
Flyanium Z with the Code Deceptile. So leading among us there was what cost us that game. Um, offered no offensive pressure against that, that lead, and Rage Powder didn't work like I, I thought it would. Um, so yeah, that's my fault. That's really bad for me there. Just uh, a forgetting that Mega Sceptile had Lightning Rod and knowing that the Discharge Lightning Rod core is, you know, what you're going to see if you see a Mega Sceptile and forgetting that the uh, mechanics of Rage Powder as well. So it really sucks. Uh, so apologies for the second game. I feel like the first game was good though. So uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna just plod on with this. Um, but yeah, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, and please leave a comment, you know, let me know uh, what you think I could have done differently. Uh, I feel like I've got a pretty good idea, but yeah, maybe just leave a comment and tell me, you know, just say, hey Josh, uh, remember that Rage Powder doesn't work on grass types. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.